Today I am going to explain the difference between the lens and why it is essential to choose a suitable engraving area for your machine. Here I am going to test 4 different lenses on a 30 watts laser machine. I am going to test the ability to carve, its cutting capacity and its ability to engrave in detail. I am going to run this test with a 7x7cm lens, a 10x10cm lens, a 70 by 70 cm lens and finally a 20 by 20 lens. These are all excellent original OPEX lens. So let's start. Let's start with our 7x7 cm lens and the first thing we can notice is that the distance between the lens and the material is minimal. This makes short the distance between the laser beam and the material and as a result we can cut and etch much faster. Now we install a 10 by 10 cm lens and here we can see a more significant distance between the lens and the material. The cutting and etching speed is already reduced even if we use the same cutting and carving parameters that we did use with the 7 by 7 cm lens. Now we will use the 70 by 70 cm lens. This is considered the optimal lens for engraving and carving with a 30 watts laser. Even if we want to engrave small details at high speed and with precision, this lens allows us to achieve a good result without losing quality or power in the engraving. The cutting and carving are much lower in comparison with the smaller working area lens, but with the 30 watts model, this lens still can perform a high resolution engraving and keep deep etching capacity. Now I have installed a 20x20cm 20 20 lens and as we can see the distance between the material and the lens is quite a lot. For a 30 watts machine this is already considered the maximum engraving area and its cutting capacity is already very limited or null. Its carving capacity is also much less than with a small engraving area lens. 
as we can see the greater the engraving area the greater the distance between our material and our laser beam which makes our 30 watts laser machine lose power and take twice or more in time to make the same cut or carving compared to other lenses Also, in some cases, the resolution is lost. I will run a small test with this 20x20cm 20 20 lens. I will engrave this little design and I will arrange it right in the center of the engraving area and press F2. This is the result. Now, I will take this same design and put it right on the edge of the lens engraving area. Now I will press F1 I adjust my engraving area and finally I'll press F2 and we'll see the result As you can see if we use a maximum engraving area we lose not only power, carving and cutting capacity we also lose some resolution here a small list of the optimal engraving areas and maximum engraving areas for laser machines with the different powers. If you want more information about this type of laser technology, visit our page web www.barslaser.com slash blogs. There you can find tutorials, information and everything you should know before or after buying your fiber optic laser machine. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, give thumbs up, and I hope to see you in the next video.